Leona Lewis, very good to see you. Thank you, Angie. Sometimes when I'm interviewing people, there'll be a PR person or PR people or management around in the background. Mm -hmm. There's no one here with you. There's just tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone left. <laughs> no one in the room anyway, in the building. <laughs> yeah, in the building, not in the room. So you're very chilled out? Yeah, we're very relaxed about, you know, interviews and things. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to put the battery in. And okay. please, would you count down five, four, three, two, one okay. when it's in? Okay. It's, uh, tell me when, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. What's it like being very famous? Um, it sometimes can be quite surreal and bizarre, and sometimes I actually forget. And then, when I walk out my house, people will be like, "Oh, Leona," and I'll be like, <gasps> and then I'll be like, "Oh yeah, I guess <laughs> they know who I am." So. Um, it's bizarre. What's the most surprising thing about fame? Oh, it you. I don't know about surprising. I guess it's it's just a surreal feeling, you know, to be known by people that you don't know, you know, and that and they know so much about you as well. So it's yeah, it's quite a weird feeling. But how much do we really know about you? I mean, how much do you get to keep private? Oh, I keep a lot private. Um, I think more than most. How would you describe your relationship with the British public? Um, I think it's a good relationship. I think that obviously during the X Factor, people got to know me quite a bit, and they really got to see a journey kind of unfold before them. So I feel like people feel very invested in me. Um, you know, I've always been very genuine and you know just myself, and I think people respect that. What have you learned about yourself? along the journey of your musical career? Um, I've learned, um, I mean, musically to, to really just um, kind of take control of what I'm doing and to really feel empowered about what I'm doing and, and feel um, good in the knowledge that I do know what I'm doing. And um, I guess life-wise doing this, um, I've felt, again, very empowered, um, especially as a female as well. Do you see yourself as an insider or an outsider in the music industry? Mm, I see myself on the cusp. I can see it from both sides. What role does Simon Cowell have to play at the moment in your career? Um, Simon Cowell's like an A&R man to me. Um, I'm signed to his label. And that means A&R? Um, artist and repertoire, so he gets involved in um, my material and things. When you come up with a new song, can you describe the process of that? When I come up with a new song? Yeah. Um, well, it depends really where it's been come up with, if it's been in, me in the studio um, or if it's kind of me just coming up with an idea on my own or if I've been sent an idea and I work on it. It, it all depends. Can you sometimes just find yourself humming a new melody and that then becomes a song? Yeah, it's actually really cool when you kind of come up with something that's really, I don't know, primitive and then it becomes this amazing song. What's the best bit about making music? Is it coming up with the music? Is it recording it? Is it performing on tour? Hmm. Um, I love performing on tour. I mean, the studio, it's all such different experiences, which is why you know, being a recording artist is so cool and, and, um, and amazing because you get to do everything, really. You get to perform live, you get to do studio recordings, um, you, know, you get to make videos. There's so much that you get to do. Describe the performing live bit. Um, for me, performing live is probably the best thing, and um, I just love being on the road, being on tour. I love um, just being with the band, and um, you know, coming up with arrangements, and just really, just performing and doing my thing. Is adrenaline your friend when you're about to step on stage? Um, it can be because I definitely have hit some notes that I never thought I'd be able to hit purely through adrenaline. <laughs> so, yeah, it can be, definitely. How would you describe your vocal range? Um, it's, quite, it's quite wide. I've got quite a big range. Oh, did you start off singing opera? I did, yes. I was classically trained. At what age did you start? I started singing opera at nine um, and I still train today. Do you still train? Mm -hmm. And what does that involve and how does that fit in with you as a pop star? Well, I definitely, there, it's definitely two different types of singing, but it's all based on the same thing. So I'll do my standard exercises and then I have, um, you know, different repertoires that I'll um, sing as well. What actually inspires you when you're making music? 
Uh, I love storytelling. I love films, and like ever since I was a little girl, like I'd always be, I'd, I'd be off in the clouds, like thinking and imagining myself being in different worlds, and and that's kind of carried on like through my whole life. Like I, even I remember being like sat at a desk at work, and I'd be literally writing short stories about anything that came to my head. You've been successful in America as well. Do you keep a track on where your singles or albums go in the charts? Um, I don't really. I just know, like, you know, when something's done really, really well, and I just kind of um, go off of that, really. I don't, like, look in depth at statistics and stuff. Quickly tell me, life outside of music? Um, it's amazing right now. What do you really do? I'm happy. Um, I ride my horse. <laughs> and that <laughs> is Five Minutes with Leona Lewis. Awesome. It's very nice to Thank see you. Thank you. So nice to see you.